So again, picking up where we left off here, walking on into the building. So this is the main entrance you will be using every day to come in the building. We will have the doors propped open. Um, if you are a car rider, you will just come in in the morning around the circle drive here and then walk right up into the building. So um, please try to, with this year specifically, we we'll try to limit touching objects and uh, different surfaces. So try not to touch the doors if you don't need to. That goes along with your lockers and stuff like that. So as you walk in, to the right hand side of the, of the main entryway is the front office area. So this main desk here is Mrs. Mahan's desk. She is our administrative assistant. She pretty much runs the school. If you have a question, she's the one you want to talk to. Um, straight back there is the nurse's office as well. And we have some extra things set up here to help out with quarantining students and whatnot if someone is comes down with a fever and not feeling well. Mr. Scheidler's back there as well as Mrs. Hedrick, so she is the school counselor. If you have any changes that you need to make, her office is typically right around the corner here, but it is going to be changed slightly this year. So anyways, here's the front desk. Just kind of getting an overview here. The library, you can see straight through the glass windows. If I pan to the left, that is a 7th grade locker bay. And then pan to the right, that is our 8th grade locker bay. Um, so let's go ahead and head towards the seventh grade locker bay. When you come in in the morning, we'd like you to go ahead and go straight to your locker. We're going to encourage your, you to use your locker as few and as little as possible. Um, that way, we again, we don't want people to try to uh, congregate, and that because when we get in big groups and things, that's where we can have some issues with uh, spreading illnesses and things. So on this main level, we have some classrooms down this floor. There's the stairs to the upstairs, and over here is the other hallway, the other end of the hallway. This main hallway here is the language arts hallway, although this room on the very end is Mrs. Allspaw's health class. So this is Mrs. Allspaw's health class. We'll just kind of take a walk around. So 102 is right here. Again, when you walk right into the building, again, if I turn around, you can see right there is the main entrance and the main uh, Mrs. Mahan's desk. There's a seventh grade locker bay and the very first Room here, 102, is Mrs. Allspaw's. Then we have some uh, language arts classrooms. This is Mr. Gaither's room. He's seventh grade language arts. He's 103. The next one down, coming down the hallway, uh, we have room 104, which this is going to be Mrs. Deacon's room. She's new this year. She will be teaching eighth grade language arts. And then on the end here is Mrs. Baker's room. You see her name nice and big. And she has room 105, and she teaches uh, both 7th and 8th grade. If I hang around and just swing to the right here, we have an entryway to the media center. So you will have time during your classes to go to the media center during language arts class. And during that time, you'll get to check out books. But you can also check out books during enrichment time um, and possibly before and after school if you do have some time. Next room is 106. This is primarily a study hall room, so many of you do will, will have a study hall. And as I continue on down the hallway, we have, across from the study hall, we have the restrooms. We have the girls' room here, and the next one is the boys' room. No problem. Our janitors are hard at work getting everything set up for school. We still have a bit of a mess here, but we will have it all taken care of when you guys come in. Um, at the end of the hallway, if I swing around to the right, we have another long hall. I'll just continue down this way, I guess. The next room here, at the end of the hallway, was room 110. That is uh, Mrs. Schwartfiger's room, and she teaches uh, digital citizenship. So you'll do a lot with computers in there, learning the proper way to um, do different programs and apps, as well as you know being good citizens, citizens online. If I come around here, is another door to the media center. And inside the door here, in fact, I'll take a step in here, as we walk in, this, these two rooms to the right, they go to the same room. That's Mrs. Fee's room, her office. That's, she's the tech, our tech assistant here, lab tech here at the school. You see the front desk here, the circulation desk. I believe we're going to try to put some tape lines out here and spread out the library nice and, and uh, distance so that we can have uh, use the library time when you guys are in here for class. <clears throat> Going back out the door I came in, again, try to get our bearings here. To my left is where I came from, Mr. Schwartfiger's room, and there's another staircase down there. We'll touch that on that a little bit. But continuing on down this way towards the 8th grade locker bay is room 111, which is the art room. So it's a pretty good-sized room, so it'll be a good chance of distances here, as well as uh, Mrs. 
Junga puts together a lot of good things for you guys to work on for the seventh grader. Seventh grade takes digital citizenship and art. Eighth grade takes um, college and career readiness as well as facts, our home ec class. So again, kind of looking backwards here, you can see the main entrance there. Mrs. Mahan's desk right down that locker bay, but this is our eighth grade locker bay. Coming around here, I'll try to step out here a little bit so you can see another angle of this, where we're coming from. But around the end of the eighth grade locker bay, you can see there's a straight shot down the main entrance. So if I go all the way down the end of that hallway, that's where the seventh grade is, seventh grade locker bay, and on the left-hand side there is where the main office is. I'll take a step here just a step farther. There is a room tucked right in here, and this is, it says attendance and athletic office, but really this is uh, Mrs. Cop's room. She is the one of our other counselors. She's really good to get to know if you're having some issues in school with other students or other things from home. That's really, she's really good to talk to. As you can see, this is our cafeteria. It's not currently set up, but this is where our cafeteria will be. We'll be going to four lunches this year to help accommodate um, to accommodate social distancing. Up on the stage up there, um, you won't really be going up there for too much. Mr. Martz, our athletic director, he has his office up there as well as we do have um, some in school suspension takes place up there as well, so hopefully you won't need to ever be going up there. Um, again, another spanning, kind of taking a look here at our cafeteria, and there's our main lunch lines. Uh, you'll go in the second door, you can see it down right there is our, where you're gonna go in. The door at the end of the hallway there is the teacher's lounge, so you have no need to go in there. You will sometimes go out this door for various things. Maybe a class will come out this way, but for the most part, you won't really use that door too much either. But this other door right there is where the you'll go in for your lunch. You'll come out this door right here and so on. Um, there'll be some other procedure we'll talk about when school starts. This is new this year, actually. You can see, um, if, you've never, if you've been in the building before, you'll recognize this is, used to not be a hole here in the cafeteria. So this actually opens up to a back room we had not been previously using. This is room is 126B, and this is going to be the ag room as well as possibly another study hall, and we also might use it for lunch attention. So hopefully you won't have to go in there for that, but we do have some other options for that room as well. But before we couldn't have access to it, so they put a hole in the wall so we can have some access. So we did have to go through another room, and that's not very convenient to have to go through another teacher's classroom to get to that room. So it will be very handy this year having that extra room at our use. Um, back to where I was here. Again, this is our eighth grade locker bay. Um, I know it's kind of hard to see. I'll go upstairs here in a minute, and you'll be able to maybe get a better look at everything. But this is our other wing over here, and there's a couple classrooms in this wing. Um, again, as soon as you walk in, you have some bathrooms. These are the bathrooms primarily used for the, when you're at lunch. So try to turn the light, there it goes, there's a light, we'll give us a little more light here. Um, coming down the hallway on the left hand side here is room 118. This is a, a science room. This was, is Mrs. Albers room, you can see your picture there. So Mrs. Albers science room, room 118. Unfortunately, to help with distancing, we have in, put a regular classroom desk in here. We do not have our normal lab tables this year to help with distancing, so unfortunately that is part of the uh, the way the year is going to be this year, but um, as soon as things settle down, we will get that back to normal. Hopefully second semester we can get the regular desk back in there. We'll have to see. There are a few lockers down this hallway, as you see, but we don't usually lose too much. By the way, Miss Albers teaches seventh grade um, science. This is room 120 at the end of this hallway here, and this is Mr. Pavey's room. He teaches eighth grade math. If I swing around behind me here on the other side of the hall, we have room 121. Um, this is a new teacher going to be taking over here. This is going to be our new uh, college and career readiness class. This will be for eighth graders only. So again, that room has not been set up yet, but that is room 121. Coming back down the hallway here, we have another room. This one is a room that was directly across from uh, Mrs. Albers' room. That's 119. And this is Mr. Tierney's health room. So he does have health in this hallway. You guys will have health with either Mrs. Osball, which is over by the English teachers, or you will have Mr. Tierney, which is in this other hallway over here again. So we've got Tierney. Back there's our new teacher um, for college and careers. Over here is Mr. Pavey. And then this first classroom here is Mrs. Albers' room. Let's head back out this hallway and head upstairs. 
Again, I think you'll get a better idea of a layout of the school if we can go upstairs, especially for those of you who've never been in here before. So we have three staircases. We're going to try to take, make two of them um, going down only and one going up only to kind of help with our f traffic flow during pass periods. But we will work on that and get some signage out. And, you know, it's a work in progress. If that doesn't seem to work, we'll try something else. So again, I'm at the top of the stairs here looking down. And here we've got our eighth grade locker bays. Right there is our media center, the library. And if you look through the windows there, you can actually see the seventh grade locker bay. Up underneath over here is where the main entrance is, and that's Mrs. Mahan's red desk. A lot of times they just call it the red desk. Come down to the red desk. So that is where Mrs. Mahan is. You can see it here down there, tucked away under there, the red desk. And there's the main entrance with the windows and the lights coming in through the window. Moving down this hallway, uh, right up here where it says dependability. Again, great characteristic to have. Um, across from these are our resource rooms. So we have room 212. Room 212 is Mr. Smith's room. He primarily works with seventh graders. And over here is 220, excuse me, 210. I read the song, I signed wrong there. That's Mrs. Peterman's room. She, this year she works primarily with the eighth grade. See the lights on in there. She's actually teaching a class right at this moment, a jumpstart class. So there's a few kids in there. We don't want to bother them. Again, you can see the hallways still have a lot of stuff in them. We're still getting things ready. We have these some more science classes up here. And as you can see, they're taking the desk out, as I said earlier, getting those ready. So now we're at the uh, end of this hallway. And again, if you remember, I showed you Mrs. Schwartfiger's room. Mrs. Schwartfiger's room was kind of in the corner back there behind the library. And this is that staircase. There's a staircase here that comes up from there. Um, and at the end of this hallway, we have two science rooms. Room 209 is Mr. Galbraith's room. He teaches 7th uh, and 8th grade science. And then right across from him is Mrs. Seidel Klein's room, and she teaches just 8th grade science only. Again, they've got the desk cleared out. They're starting to put in the uh, individual desk. I'm going to take a quick uh, jaunt down these stairs and back up again to show you what I missed before. I did show you Mrs. Schwartfiger's room, but I didn't get a chance to show you uh, Mrs. Dillon's room. So... Again, kind of catch our bearings again. I know it's hard sometimes, especially with the hallways still busy. But down this hallway, kind of get back where we were at, kind of call this kind of the V. So, you know, we got down here, and it makes just a V shape or an L hallway here. And so we got the bathrooms here. Down this way is our study hall and, and language arts rooms. Over here, right here is Mr. Schwartfager's room. If I turn around, I just passed it. This is our fax room. Again, this is for 8th graders only. This is room 109. And this is, as you can see, they've got refrigerators and kitchenettes set up in there and stuff for some of their projects that they do. So again, for 7th graders, you wouldn't really need to be in that. You wouldn't need to know where that room is. But if uh, hopefully everything goes as well as we hope and, uh, you know, be back next year for the 8th grade year, your 8th grade year, we will have that open. Or if you're a new student, that's where that would be. I'm heading back up the stairs. Again, I'm kind of in the middle of this V or L shape here. And we talked about, we got our two science rooms up here. Down this hallway is where I came from, where they had the resource room. If I turn the corner here, going down the other leg, we have more bathrooms, you know, the boys and girls, right there. And right in the corner here is room 207. That's Mrs. Engel's room. She teaches eighth grade algebra. Continuing down the hallway, on the right-hand side here, we have room 206. That's Mrs. Slayton's room, math teacher. She teaches seventh grade only. Moving down, the next room we have is 205, another math teacher. This is Mrs. Markham. So majority of our math teachers are up here. Mrs. Markham teaches seventh grade also. Um, so we have three up here, but we do have Mr. Pavey in that back hallway for the eighth grade math. Then these last three rooms here are social studies. So again, 204 is Mr. Purdue's room. He teaches 8th grade only. The next room, 203, this is Mr. Harpering's room. Mr. Harpering teaches a combination, some 7th and 8th. And then the last room at the end of the hallway here is Mr. Wise's room. Mr. Wise teaches 7th grade social studies. Okay. 
And again, if I turn around and kind of show you where we're at in relation to everything, down there's our seventh grade locker bay. There is our uh, media center there in the middle that you can see. If you look through the glass there all the way to the other side, you can see the eighth grade. Just makes a big kind of triangle, if you will. And it's really easy to find everything you need. And it's not that big of a school. So even if you're a little confused the first day or two, you'll get it figured out. I'm going to head down these stairs. And we're going to have the last couple of rooms to show you, which is down towards the gym in the PE area. So again, just kind of letting you know we are coming down the steps here. Again, this was this is Ospaw's room, 102. Coming back to the seventh grade locker base and heading towards the front door again. You can see there's our main entrance. When you come in in the morning, remember, we're going to have you um, go straight to your locker, get what you need for the day. And then seventh graders usually hang out in this area right here in this commons area until 745. Eighth graders hang out on the other side of the do double doors here um, until 745. At that time, seventh graders are dismissed to the cafeteria. Okay, you are going to need to social distance, only have a few people at a table. In eighth grade, again, they sit on this side of the main entrance, and they're going to go to the gymnasium. You can have, you'll be able to eat breakfast in your designated area. And then uh, we will send you to class a little early to help with social distancing. This room right here is currently my room, but it is going to be the council room, Mrs. Hedrick. So um, instead of going through the main office to see Mrs. Hedrick, if you have an issue, need to change your class or something, uh, you'd come right here. Again, this is right around the curved uh, main entrance here. And uh, this this room here. There's no number on it. There used to be a plaque there, but it got taken off and never replaced. But um, this door here, it won't have all these stickers and stuff on the door, but this will be Mrs. Hedrick's room this year. Um, it's only temporary, but it is this year. So again, we had to make some extra room for some things in the main office. Um, if I open up this door, we have the gym. As you can see, there's an entrance at the far end over there. We have an entrance over here, and there's also an entrance tucked away there on the corner here. I'll kind of walk around the outside, but there's a main gym right as you walk in here. As again, there's our main entrance. If you just hang a right when you first come in, here it is. Now, if and when we have athletic events, you don't come in that door. You come in this door at the end of this hallway. So make sure you tell your parents that as well. Um, as I'm walking down the hallway, the next room, though, is the music room. So the lights are not on, so you won't be able to see very much in here. But this is our band and choir room. Back up, get a little more light. Yep. So you can see a little bit in there, but I'm not going to take much time in there, but there's the band and music room right there. Uh, because the band is pretty big for both 7th and 8th grade, they are also going to be using uh, the old tech ed room for some of their band so that we can spread students out. Again, this is the old tech ed room. It's room 126A. Remember that room with the hole in the wall? That was 126B. This one is 126A because this is the room that you have to go through to get there. So we've been working hard on cleaning this room out. And it looks like, you know, they've done a pretty good job, but we'll have this all set up in here so that when you do come in, if you do have band or choir, choir possibly being here too, we'll have all this extra space in here, help spread out students and to make it more safe this year for band and choir. We could also possibly use that room as uh, study hall too so it kind of on the classes when they're when it's available so again here's that other door to the gym just another angle of the gym and almost done with the last two are here here's a couple bathrooms down here at the end of the hallway these are primarily used for um we can use it for gym we can use them for if you have a room down here like band or whatever um but so here is the main gym hallway and then also here's the other back gym hallway so this goes to the locker rooms and whatnot excuse me and uh, here's a concession stand. This is for obviously when we have athletic events. Again, here's our main entrance here for the athletic entrance over here on the north side of the building. So just to kind of wrap up here, just finishing up, concession stand. This is our back hallway. We got the band room right in there. Well, that's the tech ed room, the old tech ed room, 126A. The band room is the next one. At the very end of the hallway is the main entrance. Over here is our gym. And if I come down this back gym hallway here, we have the boys' PE, and then we follow by the next door down. Well, this is a storage room. The next door down, though, is the uh, boys' athletic locker room, which is also connected. Um, and then you've got the girls' locker rooms and the girls' PE locker room at the very end. The thing that's different this year is that you will be able to change in the locker rooms, but we're not going to be assigning lockers. You need to carry your materials with you to change into for PE class 
for you seventh graders for first semester and eighth grade will be its second semester for PE. But again, keep in mind that you won't be able to change. So you'll, uh, you won't be able to keep your things in your locker. You'll keep it in a separate bag. When you come to PE, you'll come straight to PE and Mr. Martz or Mr. Tierney will dismiss you to go change a few at a time. And, uh, and that's how we will be conducting PE this year. Uh, you do not have to dress out. We, we would recommend it or we you know, suggest it, but you will not be penalized this year if you don't dress out. Okay, so if you don't want to go in the locker room and expose yourself to more kids and be around in close, to cl close tight, tight quarters, then that is fine as well. So to wrap this up, uh, it's a 20-minute video, a little longer than I wanted, but I hopefully explained everything pretty well. Again, coming back down this um, back hallway here, the band hallway, if you will, um, coming back towards the front of the building, and hopefully this gives you a little better idea and understanding of how our building is laid out. It's uh, Again, it's not a really big building, so even if you're brand new to the building, brand new to the area, um, you will pick it up very quickly. So I hope you have a good year. We're excited to see you guys in a couple uh, two weeks from yesterday now from the day I'm recording this, but August the 5th is the first day of school. Thank you. Bye.